You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. is Healing at Soul Level with your host, Shauna Williams. Shauna is here to provide various forms of healing that are non-invasive, that promote relaxation and aid the body in naturally healing itself by using ancient healing techniques that have been around for centuries. So please welcome the host of Healing at Soul Level, Shauna Williams. Good morning. Welcome to Healing at Soul Level. I'm your host, Shauna Williams, and we're broadcasting live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Numerology is the study of numbers and how it's an integral part of, of the universe. These numbers can show your character, purpose in life, what motivates you, and where your talents may lie. Today's guest, Valerie McKenzie, knows all about this subject. Valerie is a deep, intuitive empath and a crystal child. She is passionate about all things holistic, including apothecary and herbal remedies. Good morning, Valerie. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning, Shauna. Thank you for having me. Yeah. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing wonderful. It's a beautiful day, and I'm excited to talk about things I'm passionate about, and I'm really grateful um, to be able to share this with you and all your listeners. So, again, thank you very much for having me. Oh, I'm so glad you're on the show. So tell us a little bit of mo- a little bit more about yourself. Okay. Um, well, I'm a mother of three. Um, I have a wonderful partner. Um, I reside in Texas. And um, I'm just really excited to be um, so well-versed on some things that I'm very passionate about. Um, in general, I'm a person who seeks a lot of answers. I've always been inquisitive. Um, always wanted to know the why and the how things work, um, no matter what Mm -hmm. that might be. And my journey has definitely been um, one full of love and passion. And um, the things that I've learned along my way have kind of spiraled me into other things. I think I learned, you know, I started to question, you know, why we're here and um, certain synchronicities that have been present throughout my whole life. And that's kind of what led me down my numerology path. So that's how you got into numerology, just um, being curious about the universe and how things work. Very very much so. And um, with numerology, I see a lot of repetitive numbers and um, things that kind of um, come into my awareness that I always questioned, but as a child, I never really had those answers. And, you know, once I grew up and kind of started to think on my own and kind of reach out for those types of answers, numerology um, hit me like a book right in the face, literally. And it really kind of opened a lot of doors and answered so many questions for me um, on so many different levels. So it's really been an amazing tool um, for understanding and kind of looking for answers. Um, no matter what questions you might have. So that's kind of how I got started uh, with the numerology. Was it a class or did you just, were you just looking up information? I mean, how did you actually find numerology? Well, the first time um, I just happened to overhear a conversation between two people about a lady who saw repetitive numbers. And, you know, when something sparks your ear, so to speak, um, I was eavesdropping more or less, and the lady was saying, you know, there's, <laughs> she was stating that there's, you know, if there's something that you see repetitive like that with numbers and um, those types of things, that there's a meaning behind that. And a lot of times it's a spiritual guide coming to you to give you a message, or um, it's a confirmation a lot of times. And so, you know, there'd been a lot of repetitive numbers that I'd seen. And as a child, I'd always look at the clock 
um, when I go to sleep, I'd try and lull myself to sleep. I had a real busy mind as a child, so the clock really brought me a lot of comfort because I would try to make other numbers out of the numbers and just different things. And then I noticed that I would always look at the clock at the same time or I would wake up at the same time. And so oh. when I overheard that conversation when I was eavesdropping, I really went over there and introduced myself and just said, listen, I know this is crazy, but I just really would like to hear what you have to say about this because this is something that's very prevalent in my life. And she shared with me that if there's things that you're seeing, look for those answers. And she mentioned numerology very briefly. And that word stuck in my head, and I started to research, and I grabbed some books and, you know, went to the library. This was back before the Internet. And so I just read a bunch on it and made a bunch of notes, and then all the questions that I had from my childhood and the repetitive numbers that I saw, I looked them up, and it was starting to make things a lot clearer for me, and it just escalated from there. Oh, okay. Now, we're going to watch it with the before the internet comment, you know, because I can say the same thing, but that shows my age. <laughs> I know. I was going to say maybe I, that was a little compelling. <laughs> no, it's it's perfectly fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I've heard a little bit about numerology. I just wasn't sure. I thought it was just, you know, just, you know, what's your birthday? Here's your information. I didn't know that it could get, you know, so detailed. Um, yes. It really does. Um, so it's a practical method of understanding your own deeper nature. It can tell you about talents, your goals, um, opportunities that are coming to you, you know, for years ahead or even in the short term, like a couple of weeks or if you have something coming up, it really offers a lot of insight and guidance um, to things that you're experiencing or that you're going to experience. I mean, it can uh -huh. give you insight on, yeah, it gives you insight on so many things. You can ask you know, you can inquire about career, romance, you know, prosperity. Um, believe it or not, it's, I mean, it's gaining a lot of traction in today's world because we're, you know, a little more progressive than we were, you know, 20, 15 years ago. And I mean, Very true. Even big, yeah, even big businesses, I mean, even, you know, corporations and places like that, they often use numerology um, to, you know, make business decisions or, you know, kind of project forecasting and that kind of stuff. MJ Domit is the owner of Expect to be Empowered, a company whose specialty is empowering people to live their best life by following their heart and accepting themselves unconditionally. After studying and making personal changes, MJ now focuses on giving others tools for self-empowerment. She provides individual and group workshops for people who are physically, emotionally, and spiritually blocked. Inspired by her work at Expect to be Empowered, MJ authored the book Waves of Blue Light, Heal the Heart and Free the Soul with accompanying empowerment cards. She is a Spirit Book of the Year Gold Medal Living Now Book Award winner. And her book is a number one Amazon bestseller in spirituality and was a 2012 gold medal winner recognized as the Living Now Spirit Book of the Year. An inspirational speaker, MJ will show you how you can repurpose every area of your life. Your life did not just happen to you. You chose it, which means you can change it. Visit www.expecttobeempowered.com or call 866-264-8024. Joseph A. Moylan is the owner of Ion Health, which specializes in very unique medical devices. Ion Health offers biomats, alkalife, and frequency machines. Biomats are a far infrared and negative ion emitting FDA approved medical device. With many different sizes available, you can place them on your bed, on a massage table, or on a seat in your car. It is an unobtrusive way to health. Alkalife machines are water ionizers that cleanse and raise the alkalinity of your tap water, making high alkaline water. Frequency machines utilize certain frequencies to kill viruses and bacteria. These devices are safe and effective. Coming from a health-conscious background and studying physiology at the Academy of Natural Health, Joseph A. Moylan has 15 years of experience in the health field and wants to help you live a healthy, long life. Visit www.ionhealthbiomats.weebly.com or call 765-520-2988. Don't let your health go astray. Get in touch today. Do you battle with weight loss? There is a solution. Founder of Weight No More Consulting, Deborah Simons, can help you lose weight safely and effectively through weight loss surgery. I know. I had the surgery two years ago, and I am 135 pounds lighter and medication-free. This full-service weight loss center caters to your every need as you navigate to a healthy weight following surgery. 
Servicing all of Canada, Wait No More Consulting takes pride in its compassionate care and guides you through each step before and after surgery. Starting with informational meetings, Wait No More Consulting educates each potential client before they decide to have surgery on the health risks of obesity and the various weight loss surgeries available. After surgery, Wait No More Consulting provides a solid support system with ongoing meetings to ensure continued success. Deborah Simons and Wait No More Consulting are committed to promoting your health and wellness through maintaining a healthy weight for life. Hello, welcome back to Healing at Soul Level. We're broadcasting live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio, and I'm your host, Shauna Williams. I'm sorry about that. We had just a little bit of technical difficulties, but we're back and we are still on the show live with Valerie. Valerie was talking about numerology. Um, Don't forget, if you call in, you can get a free reading. Um, You just need to call 866-451-1451. Valerie, you still there? Yes, ma'am. I am here. Okay. So um, (laughs) we were talking about how numerology worked and everything. I'm sorry. And so, sorry, how do you get the numbers for somebody whenever you're doing, um, is numerology like, do you have to know like exactly what they need at the time? Like, do they have to give you an intention? Like, I want to know about this character or this talent, or does it just all come together? Well, there's many different, um, there's many, many different methods you can use and different numbers that you can pull. Um, there are birth date numbers. You can pull a life path number. Um, I pull as many things as, I mean, we do rational thought numbers, um, personal year numbers. Um, What's a rational number thought number? Just, um, a rational thought number just kind of gives some insight as to how your thought process works. And, um, uh-uh. yeah, it's really interesting. Um, it pulls it based off the letters of your name. Um, rational thought numbers reveal what can probably best be described as your way of thinking. Um, are you practical? Are you a methodical thinker? Are you a dreamer? You know, these are all things that it'll give you insight into. And, um, for you, Shauna, um, I know we spoke briefly before, um, I did pull your rational thought number. And if you'd like, I can share it with you just to kind of give you some insight as to what that entails. Sure. Okay, so I think I, I jumped a little bit ahead. Let me explain how the numbers correlate with the, the letters of your name. Um, okay. So in numerology, um, the letters of the alphabet correspond with the, with the same number. So, for instance, um, an A would be a 1, a B would be a 2, a C would be a 3, and so on. However, in numerology, they only use the first nine basic numbers. So um, once you got to the ninth letter of the alphabet, which would be an I, um, the cycle would repeat itself. So a J would be a number one. Does that make sense? Yes, perfect sense. Okay, good. And then um, for your rational thought numbers, um, based on your letters of your first name, um, your rational thought number would be a nine. Um, So... In our interpretation with the numerology, um, Shauna, you're pretty much aware of the expectations of others, whether it be intuitive or a feeling, which would also be intuition, but you're very aware (laughs) of other people's expectations. And um, based on what I'm gathering, um, sometimes you hold off on expressing your opinion about certain situations until everyone's (laughs) had their say. Oh, yeah. Um, And then you (laughs) you like to weigh in on, you know, where everybody else is. And then you like to give your input. And um, what I'm channeling is that um, once you've once everyone's had their say as far as rational thought, then you like to sometimes point out mistakes, which is not necessarily a negative thing. But it's just, you know, things that you see would be an error or maybe some things that were overlooked. Um, A lot of your success, Shauna, is solving problems and finding answers. Um, And you do that through the process of elimination. Um, At least that's what I'm gathering. And it's funny because I'm very much that way too. Um, (laughs) You're right on the mark. (laughs) Oh, that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like I said, it's more of a process of an elimination more than it is a matter of like stringing together logical answers. You just know, okay, this is not working. This is not working. So this would be what is working, if that makes sense. Yes. Good. And then um, if it's okay, um, 
I pulled your um, – give me one second here. I'm trying to get my notes together. It's okay. Well, let's see. Um, your birth, your life path number I pulled for you. Bear with me one second, Shona. Wait, would you like to talk about your life path, or do you have any other questions for me? Um, no, I think that um, what you said, it just it was it was pretty much. I've actually had somebody tell me that that wasn't doing numbers; they were doing um, some other reading for me, and they said the same thing. And I've noticed that in my life. You know, it's that's very interesting. Yeah, they and actually said it, and it's. Yeah, and it's very true, like numerology ties in with so many other methods of gaining insights and looking into your inner being and trying to gain answers. You know, I think as humans, you know, we're very inquisitive, some more than others. And, you know, it really, really kind of helps you gain that guidance where otherwise we would be lost. You know, I know sometimes I have situations in my life where I'm just like, gosh, you know, I, I know the answer is out there, but where is it? And mm -hmm. a lot of times I turn to numerology to kind of help, you know, even if it doesn't give me my exact answer, it definitely puts me on the right path to, you know, gain the understanding that I'm looking for, kind of look for that advice to make sure I'm, you know, rolling down the correct street, if that makes sense. And um, while we're discussing it, Shauna, your, um, your life path number is very important in numerology. Um, it's the most important number and it's based off the date of your birth. Um, and that's the moment when the curtain kind of goes up on your life, so to speak. And um, it can be compared to like the plot of a play or, you know, it gives us a broad outline of opportunities and challenges and lessons that we encounter um, during our time here, you know, in this lifetime. And um, mm -hmm. so a life path number is the sum of the month of your birth plus the day of your birth plus the year of your birth. So, um, I'm trying to think of a simple way to explain this without a visual. So, um, for example, um, if your birthday was, you know, December 25th of 1964, December is the 12th month, so you would combine the 1 and the 2, and that makes a 3. Um, the 25th day would be a 2 and a 5, and that makes a mm -hmm. 7. And then 1964... For example, you would add the 1 plus the 9 plus the 6 plus the 4. That gives you 20. And because it's a double number, you need to reduce it. So you'll add the 2 to the 0, which gives you a 2. So you have a 3, a 7, and a 2. You arrive mm -hmm. at a 12. You add the 1 and the 2, and that gives you a 3. I know okay. that seems like a lot to take in, and it's really hard without a visual, but I hope you're following me thus far. Um, no, I understood you, that Shana, perfectly. Since, okay, good, good. <laughs> um for you, Shauna, um, I did yours based off your date of birth that you gave to me prior and did some channeling. And I was really um, excited and surprised that your life path number is the same as me and my partner's. My partner and That's I have the same life funny. path number. That's funny. Mm -hmm. But you and know what? We're going to stop. We're going to stop and uh, take a quick break and then we'll get back and learn more about my life path number. Um, Horses, mystical, present past and future all in one wild free domestic and healing for everyone betty hames knows this and has put her horses to good use with nature connect equine coaching her mission is to help people affected by the loss of hope and trust in their lives and to rediscover the wonders of nature through nature connected learning so they can rebuild their lives and live peacefully with newfound hope trust and joy Betty Hames is also a certified elite life coach, a Washington State certified counselor, and chemical dependency professional. She is passionate about partnering nature with healing, and through horses, she sees amazing results and transformation in lives that might have otherwise been lost. Call 509-830-9225 and visit her at HamesLifeCoaching.com. Hold your horses. You're in for the ride of your life. We will be right back. There are artists and then there's Alice Asmar. This award-winning artist has spent her entire life devoted to her artistic pursuits and has had a lifelong fascination with American Indians of the southwestern United States. 
Her book, Dance to the Great Spirit, showcases her drawings and paintings inspired by sacred rituals of the Pueblo Indians, and four of her lithographs are in permanent collection at the National Museum of American History and the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. She is one of four artists in the United States to win a Woolley Fellowship for study in Paris at Le Col des Beaux-Arts and has been featured in numerous publications. She's exhibited at the world's most prestigious museums and galleries and recently won a 20-year service award from the Burbank City Council and the inaugural art competition of the Foundation of the United States in Paris. Visit www.asmarart.com, www.aliceasmarinternational.com, and email alice at aliceasmar at aol.com. Essential Nutrients, LLC, is the brainchild of entrepreneur Barbara Burns. Inspired by a desire to help others, Barbara worked with a team of scientists to develop unique nutritional liquid supplements with the goal to improve the quality of your life. Glucosamine, zinc, and calcium are essential to well-being, and this is the focus of Essential Nutrients, LLC. Whether you're a professional athlete, weekend warrior, student, business owner, or homemaker, Essential Nutrients offers products for everyone, including the family pet. And they're easy to take, no pills. Health requires commitment, exercise, a good diet, proper supplementation, and action. So take action today and get your supply of essential liquid nutrients by visiting www.essential-liquids.com. Don't put off your health any longer. Take essential products today and start to measure the difference. Hi, I'm your host, Shauna Williams, and we're broadcasting live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. You're listening to Healing at Soul Level, and today's guest is Valerie McKenzie. She's talking about numerology, and she was just telling me my life path number was a number three, which is the same as hers and her partner. So what else were you saying about that, Valerie? Oh, okay. So your life path number, Shauna, is actually a seven. I believe the three was just the example of the birth date that I was giving. Um, (laughs) I'm sorry if I wasn't clear on that, but you're definitely a seven and you are correct. Uh, My partner and I are also number sevens. And um, if I may, I'll tell you a little bit about a life path seven number in case any of the listeners are also a seven. Um, They can gain a lot from this as well. Um, Based on that, like I said, the birth date number is the most important in numerology because it it really um, gives you some insight as to who you are and you know, what you're all about. And as a seven life path number, um, you're a searcher and a seeker of the truth. And I know I mentioned that a little bit earlier about myself. And I know, Shauna, you're the same way. Um, Mm -hmm. You have a clear and compelling sense of yourself as a spiritual being. And your goal is devoted to investigations into the unknown and to finding answers to the mysteries of life. And it's really interesting to me that I'm exactly the same way. You know, that explains why we connect on the level that we do. Um, I also see, and I'm I'm feeling that you're very well equipped to handle this task. You possess a very fine mind. Um, I see you as an analytical thinker. Um, you have great concentration methods and theoretical insight. I feel, um, I feel like you really enjoy some research and you know putting together pieces of like intellectual puzzles, so to speak. And um, mm-hmm. You have highly creative insight. I'm getting that really strongly. A lot of creative insight and practical solutions to problems. And that's really great. That's a very rare trait. Um, so really? I think that's really great. Um, mm-hmm. um, I'm also seeing that um, the numbers are pointing to you enjoy solitude. You prefer to work alone to a degree. Um, you like to take time to contemplate your ideas. Um, somewhat mm-hmm. of a lone wolf, if you will. Um, <laughs> And I'm the same way. Um, you you enjoy your space and privacy, but you also enjoy, you know, your loved ones and that. But you do you do have a very, very good passion and, you know, good infinite space for your privacy and that kind of stuff. And um, yeah. when people violate, it causes some irritation there. Um, you're very, oh, when your yeah. life is very balanced and you feel like you're in your element, you're very charming, Um attractive is a word that keeps coming into my brain and attractive isn't always in the physical. It's also like a magnetic charming, you know, people are drawn to you. Um, right. You've got charismatic. a lot of wit and knowledge. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> very charismatic. <laughs> um, but you're also very, you also have very distinct limits. Um, <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> I'm sorry. When you said um, that, yeah. 
<laughs> and that's good. That's a good thing. You know, a lot of people don't know boundaries and limitations and, you know, a strong seven life path number, they're keenly aware, um, you know, of when they're able to give their energy freely. And then again, when they need to come off stage and kind of be out of that spotlight, so to speak. And um, I feel like you, you associate your peace, your inner peace with, um, the unobtrusive privacy of your world, meaning, you know, you've got, you very much have your sacred space and your bubble and you make that well known. It's a very strong energetic field that you put out there and that's very good. You know, it's a lot, a lot of people aren't able to hold that space, if that makes sense. And you're very good at that. Um, huh. what else do we have here? Um, you especially watch out for um, selfishness and egocentricity. Um, thinkers like you and me, Sean, and my partner, um, life path number seven numbers, whoever that might entail. Um, mm-hmm. Sometimes, you know, we think, you know, this is my world and I'm the center of my universe, but we're also very aware of that. And our social contacts give us a perspective on ourselves and our lives. Um, if we isolate too much, we kind of get a little narrow and we tend to shut off and, but we're aware of that and we know when it's time for us to kind of draw that curtain down and then back up. So that's very good. Um, Mm -hmm. some of the challenges I would say for life path seven numbers, um, it's, we need to make sure we're maintaining our independence without feeling isolated. Um, wow. Yes. Bingo. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I like the confirmation. Yeah, it, it really makes me, it helps my channeling and that stuff. So um, you definitely hold fast to the ne- unique view of your world. Um, at the same time, you're very open to others and to the knowledge that they have to offer. Again, we're seekers. So, you know, once we know that people have the knowledge, we're very inquisitive and we like to ask lots of questions. <laughs> um, yes. You've got great abilities to learn. We're great analyzers, you know, seeking out life's important questions and life path seven numbers have great potential for enormous growth and success, um, for what they see in their lives. Um, you know, middle age, well, once we reach middle age, you know, again, we're not going to be too telling on <laughs> where we are <laughs> in that journey, but, um, <laughs> um, once you meet, once we meet middle age, whether we're there, or we're getting there, um, we radiate refinement and wisdom, um, Pythagoras, who was alive about 2,500 years ago, um, he's often called the father of numerology. That's what we refer to him as. And Mm -hmm. he loved the number seven as a life path for people for its great spiritual potential. And I think that says a lot as to what, you know, what you're into and all of your talents and me as well. You know, we have a lot of spiritual potential and that's really good. Um, We also often find success and satisfaction in business, science, um, religion in some instances, which can cover a broad path of things, you know, not just, right. you know, mm-hmm. Baptist and all that stuff. And um, invention, the occult, and anything related to research. So again, it's a very inquisitive, a very much a seeker number. So that's, um, that's what encompasses a life path number seven. Wow, that's a lot. And uh, <laughs> like you said, it, it crosses over a lot into um other things that I know about myself, like I, I was telling you that I, I read the Akashic Records and um, I have a, I was made of, by the creator substance is um, divine love. And with that, I have the same thing as you said, where I cannot um, be isolated for too long because I'm, mm-hmm. you know, I'm made up of love. That's my creator substance. So yeah, mm-hmm. all of that, it's crossing, crosses across each other because who you are is who you are. You know, Correct. you just have yep. all these different ways to find out little bits and pieces of who you are, because we are complicated, too. <laughs> very much. We're very intricate beings. And, yeah, that's one of the reasons or one of the main reasons why I love this so much is it really kind of, you know, once you read it, you're like, yep, 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 yep. And it's it's not that always we didn't know these things about ourselves. It's just that confirmation. I mean, as human beings and being how we're made up. These are things that we naturally inquire about. So I think it's very interesting. Okay, good. Well, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break and we will be right back. Baby boomers face many challenges and sometimes you have to reinvent yourself in order to stay on top. Sharon Ball, nurse practitioner and Christian life and wellness coach can help. 
Sharon has written a book called Reinventing Yourself Today, and it can help you through the pangs of changing the course of your life. Whether you are looking to stay on track with new goals, a sensible program to help you shed unwanted pounds, or a full kick-butt life reinvention, Sharon can work with you. Follow your passions and live each day according to your dreams and free yourself from the expectations of others. Sharon comes from the heart and shares her own personal journey to reinvention with her clients. Other self-help books inspired her, but few gave her the steps to improve her life, so she created a plan that works. Stress no more. Let Sharon Ball open the door. Sign up for a complimentary life reinvention consultation today at tinyurl.com forward slash get started for free for more of what life has in store. Do you battle with weight loss? There is a solution. Founder of Weight No More Consulting, Deborah Simons, can help you lose weight safely and effectively through weight loss surgery. I know. I had the surgery two years ago, and I am 135 pounds lighter and medication-free. This full-service weight loss center caters to your every need as you navigate to a healthy weight following surgery. Servicing all of Canada, Weight No More Consulting takes pride in its compassionate care and guides you through each step before and after surgery. Starting with informational meetings, Weight No More Consulting educates each potential client before they decide to have surgery on the health risks of obesity and the various weight loss surgeries available. After surgery, Weight No More Consulting provides a solid support system with ongoing meetings to ensure continued success. Deborah Simons and Weight No More Consulting are committed to promoting your health and wellness through maintaining a healthy weight for life. Hello, welcome back to Healing at Soul Level. I'm your host, Shauna Williams, and we're broadcasting live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Today's guest is Valerie McKenzie, and she knows her thing when it comes to numerology. She's been telling me about my life path number and how I think, and she's been on the money. This lady knows what she's talking about. Um, We were asking for callers to call in. I believe we have somebody who's called in that wants a reading. Awesome. Who's, who do we have on the line? Hello. Hello? Hey. Hello. Who is this? Hi. Janice. I'm sorry, who is this? This is Janice Williams. Janice, hey, Janice. Did you want to have hey. something called in for uh, <laughs> your numerology? You want to get your numerology read? Yeah. Okay. Um, Valerie, I'm going to let awesome. you take welcome. It. <laughs> no problem. Oh, thank you. How are you? <laughs> Hi, I'm wonderful. Thanks so much for calling in. I'm super excited. Um, okay, so would you? I can pull a life path number for you if you'd like. I would just need your full birth date. Okay, my full birthday is April 6, 1980. So that would be 4-6 of 1980. Bear with me one second here. So Janice, have you ever had your numbers read before? No, I haven't. So this is really interesting and fun to me. (laughs) Were you able to listen earlier? Did you hear her talk about my numbers? Um, I just kind of tuned in. I wasn't able to um, listen to the full. full, Well, um, I'm tell you this, because this lady, she knows what she's talking about. She was like pinning me down. I was like, well, hold up, hold up now. Everybody don't need to know who I am. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Okay. So what I've got for you, um, your life path number is a one. Um, Mm -hmm. And number ones, if you look at the number itself, it's a pillar. Um, It represents a lot of strength, um, a lot of perseverance, and you're a born leader. Um, You're insistent on the right to make up your own mind is what I'm gathering. And you demand freedom of thought and action. Freedom is very important to you. Um, from what I'm channeling, you've you've got a lot of drive and determination. Um, I see a lot of that. You don't you don't tend to let anyone or anyone stand in your way once you're committed to a goal. Um, it looks like it looks like in your life you assume responsibility to be a protector, um, a provider to those that you love. Um, am I on the right path? Yes. <laughs> okay. Good. Um, I definitely see you as, um, like I said, the number one represents a pillar. Um, I see that you demand a lot of respect, a lot of attention. Um, I see a little irritation and even sometimes some domineering when important things don't necessarily go your way. 
Um, I see that you're somebody who feels the the need to command important undertakings and you resist supportive roles. So you like to be the number one and not necessarily a supportive role. Um, you seek the foreground and a lot of the limelight. Um, I see you as an exceptionally creative and original person. Um, you definitely possess a touch of the unusual. Um, your approach to problems seems to be unique. You have a lot of courage to wander from the beaten path. And I also see that sometimes you can be a little impatient with your shortcomings and those of others as well. And I definitely relate to that because I am definitely <laughs> the same way. <laughs> um, I will say um, you got to guard against the overzealous behaviors, the anger, the aggressiveness. Um, these are things you definitely need to get under control or sometimes you could become um, excessively domineering, um, sometimes a little vindictive sometimes. And I also tend to, to sway down that path sometimes. So I can definitely relate to that as well. Um, I, I definitely see you as somebody that um, seems to be left best when you're left with your own devices. Um, ideally, you'd be great to own your own business um, in construction of some sort, not necessarily like hard hat construction, but constructing of items or crafts. Um, you would definitely be a wonderful boss to yourself. Like you would be a wonderful own your own, you know, everything is yours. Um, I would say hold mm -hmm. fast to your life's dream, whether you're living mm -hmm. your life's dream or it's something you're um, moving towards, I would definitely say you definitely need to hold fast to that. Um, hold your determination. And this is going to become a very realistic and realization for you. Um, sometimes you're so driven, I feel like it stresses you out sometimes. Overly stressed okay. from being so driven. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, be careful about the, I would say be careful about the foods that you eat. Um, and mm -hmm. definitely maintain some sort of exercise that you enjoy. Um, competition sports are often good for you, for somebody that's super driven. Um, that's a real mm -hmm. healthy outlet for you as a person and your drive. Um, I would say mm -hmm. particularly something involving running or swimming of some sort. Um, definitely don't let pride or overconfidence is, I think, a better word than um, pride. Your overconfidence, don't let it rule you. Just remember that you have amazing talents and your abilities are a gift from our higher source. And that should promote gratitude and humility rather than the pride or conceit sometimes. So make sure that that overconfidence is coming from the heart space. Um, more often than not, um, life path number ones, you achieve much in life. Um, as long as that drive and creativity and originality and pioneering spirit are fully employed, I feel like your talents are varied and your potential for success is considerable. Um, that's a lot of what I'm feeling. Um, I'm envious. I wish I was as driven, you know, like I'm just getting this really powerful feeling, you know, from you. It's a great feeling. I'm, that's great. Um, I, feel, I feel like you might be attracted to business or even military, um, maybe some sort of governmental institution. Um, it's that leadership role that you possess and that gives you the possibility of to do anything that you want and make sure you maintain that drive because big things are coming for you if you haven't already received them. Wow. Okay. okay. That's awesome. <laughs> awesome. Wow. That's pretty good. Um, yeah. What are your thoughts? I, believe How, I, I love, I love feedback. I think that's, um, you know, pretty much me. I love the, you know, the drive and everything. And that was funny that you said that about your own business and, you know, something of construction because I did have a business. Um, and, you know, I still do it from time to time. And I was making candles and, you know, putting all that stuff that's together. Um, yeah. You know. <laughs> if that's something nose. you're really passionate about, I would say definitely hold hold fast to that because that's that's bringing you a lot of joy, whether it's on a surface level or a subconscious level. And I would definitely mm -hmm. say that um, hang on to that because that's something that you're going to be really good at. I know life mm -hmm. sometimes gets the best of us and we forget to do that. But for you, hang on to that. And I see big things coming for you in that regard. You'd make an amazing boss. Well, thank you for calling in, Janice. Um, I hope this gave you a lot of insight into your path. And uh, we do need to take a break real quick. So we will be right back. Animal lover, author, artist, and public speaker, Patricia Daly Life is a Renaissance woman in her own right. A lover of animals from a young age, 
Patricia lives on a farm in Virginia and has rescued neglected thoroughbred horses, keeping them or finding them safe havens. She is also a published author, and her books document real-life experiences that she shares in her passionate stories, taking the reader around the world in a colorful kaleidoscope of life. An accomplished artist, Patricia Daly Life's oil paintings feature animals, portraits, stills, nature, and abstract, and she allows the brush to paint the image in an organic, natural way. A public speaker, Patricia is motivated to continually wonder about life and advocates for all of us to do the same and document our own unique history. To learn more about Patricia Daly Life, visit www.literarylady.com and www.patricialife.com or email her at pdlife at gmail.com. Are you looking for employment and live in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is the place for you. Are you an employer looking to fill a position or quite a few positions in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is for you. Employers, JobsAnnex.com is your resource for career-minded people. JobsAnnex.com is the convenient place for job seekers and employers to hook up and move forward. Jobs Annex has been serving Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties for over 14 years. Jobs Annex is a former employment search firm. We've evaluated many thousands of resumes and we understand what employers want and what job applicants need to be successful in their interviews. At Jobs Annex, we provide you with the tools to tell your story for free. Our resources at JobsAnnex.com will help each applicant construct an award-winning resume, an eye-catching cover letter, and key interview questions to ask in various types of interviews. Best of all, it's free. JobsAnnex.com. That's J-O-B-S-A-N-N-E-X.com. Welcome back to Healing at Soul Level. We're broadcasting live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio, and I'm your host, Shauna Williams. We're talking with Valerie McKenzie about numerology, and she just gave me my life path number, which was incredible. That was incredible reading. We had a caller, Janice Williams, with hers, and now we are talking to Mia, right? Is that correct? Mia Kogan. Mia Kogan, yes. 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 Uh Okay, and so Valerie's going to give her a reading as well. I'm going to let you take over here, Valerie. Oh, thank you, Shauna. And thank you so much for calling in. I'm super excited. Um, We spoke briefly before the... Yeah. um, We spoke briefly before the break, and I do have your birth date. Um, I did some short calculations, and I see that you're a life path number four. Um, And that's great. Um, Life path number four is a practical... Um, I feel that you're a very down-to-earth person, a lot of strong ideas about right and wrong, you know, justice and injustice. Um, Me, I see, from what I'm gathering, um, you seem to be an orderly and organized person. Um, I see a lot of systematic, (laughs) um, very controlled, and you're decisive and methodical. Um, What I'm gathering is, uh, that's good, yeah, definitely some confirmations, that'd be good. Um, yeah. it seems like you like to employ step-by-step rational approaches to problem solving. And once you've committed to something, I don't see you as somebody that likes to give up very easily. Um, That's correct. <laughs> I, good. <laughs> good. Um, I also see that you're not one for some get rich quick schemes. Um, you prefer the hard right. work and the long hours. Um, while building a business or a career, um, I see you as someone who likes to seek, um, you seek to establish a solid foundation. Um, exactly. You like to have that groundwork. Good, yeah. yeah I see you as someone who likes yeah. to have that groundwork laid out. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Nice. Good, good, good. Um, let me see. I see you as someone also, I know I say this, um, you're also someone who has a great potential for success, um, but yours, you like to put out the effort. You don't, you know, you like to see the put out and then the return. Um, you like right. to overcome limitations that you encounter. Um, mm-hmm. I see you as I see you as someone who is very justice oriented. Honesty is very sacred to you. Um, you're very reliable. You're very dependable. Um, you're a cornerstone maybe in your community, your family, you know, like the matriarch. Um, you're not an idealist. I don't see you as an right. idealist. Um, you're very willing to work for a better world, and, but in a very realistic way. Um, you can be rigid about your ideas and sometimes right. maybe a little too quick to judge 
um, you know, your fellow man on what they're doing, not necessarily a, a knock, but it's just who you are. Um, you're right. very loyal to those that you love and you work very well with others. I feel that very strongly. You're very um, teamwork oriented and um, very loyal to what it is that you love. Um, mm-hmm. It is important. It is important that while being part of a team that you have your own responsibilities. So you like to have, you know, a group task as well as your own stuff very well defined. Um, You seem to perform better when your responsibilities are not overlapping with those of others. You like to have your own responsibilities aside from the responsibilities of others is what I'm gathering. Um, Correct. I see that you're (laughs) good. Good. Um, I see that your potential for success is particularly good in areas like banking, um, accounting, management, organization, uh, maybe agriculture, science, or maybe the legal field, since justice is such a a huge strong point for you. Um, Uh Life path number four, such as yourself, you got to be careful not to be bossy or rude. Um, you possess the rare discipline and perseverance, um, and not everyone can keep up with you. And I think that's a very amazing and rare quality to have because you lead the charge and that's a great, you know, that's a great quality to possess. Um, you okay. handle money very carefully. Um, uh-huh. you, hit, you, you like the security of a nest egg. I see you as someone who has your little nest egg, your little, you know, squirrel pouches in your cheeks put away. Um, <laughs> you love your love of work often leads you into career early in life. I see you as someone who knew what you wanted early in life. And because you're methodical nature, um, uh-huh. you went for that. Um, I also right. see you as someone who can be overly cautious when changes are necessary. Um, right. Sometimes this might cause you me to miss opportunities that present themselves. So, I, I'm, I want to make sure you cultivate flexibility into your character. Right. I know that's hard for you, but try to remain mm-hmm. a little more flexible, a little less rigid, and that's going to suit you very well. Um, I don't know. I, we've never met before, so I don't know that you're married, but I would say that you're well-suited for marriage. Um, mm-hmm. And you would, if you're not a parent, you would become a responsible and a very loving parent. If you are, then you have those qualities. Um Anything, Mm -hmm. I will say, though, that anything that violates that profound sense of order that you carry, that um, such as a separation or a divorce, it can be very shattering for you. So if this is something that you experience, um, just make sure you stay true to yourself um, and don't let those negative thoughts, if that's something that possesses in your life, it's something that's important. It's, It's coming in pretty strong. So if that's not something you've been through, and it is something that may be on the horizon. Just be careful um, about that. I think if you that flexibility comes into play, that might take a different path. Um, you're courageous. Or something. You're I'm definitely going through that. Yeah, okay. Okay. That. Good. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah but said that might have been a difficult thing, but your own definition of right. justice is what pushed you to that point, and it was definitely the best move you could have made. So there's that. Um, you're very courageous. Wow. You're, you're, you're a true survivor. I see that in you. Um, <laughs> and Thank I am you. too. That's good. You, yeah. And you're a builder and the foundation of any enterprise. So anything that you have your hands in, anything that you've been mm-hmm. a part of, you are a strong foundation for that. And that's an amazing quality. I really think that that's great. Um, your hard Thank work you. and practical values, um, mm-hmm. they're going to pay off in the long run and they're going to provide you with the rewards that you seek and deserve. So such a pillar, yeah, such yeah, a, yeah. you know, such a strong survivor. And I think that's really great. Points um, along your life path here. Oh, great. Well, thank you. Yeah. All right. Wow. And anything involving, <laughs> anything involving money, girl, you go after it because you got the stronghold for it. You just stuff that in those cheeks and you keep on rolling. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. I, I will say um, it's I'm on a good path right now. Definitely. Good. Yeah. I see that also. Yeah. I definitely see that also. Wow. Cool. Sounds yeah. like she, um, sounds like she read you, Miss Mia. <laughs> yeah, she did. <laughs> very, very, very well. Good. <laughs> good. That's yeah. a good thing. Keep that survivor quality and just 
remember to remain flexible. I keep getting this. Just remember to remain flexible, and things will come to you a lot more easily without those rigid thoughts. So just keep that in mind in all endeavors okay. pretty much. Okay. Right. Definitely. I sure will. I sure will. Well, thank, cool. thank you for all calling right, in, Mia. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day, y'all. Okay, you, you as too. Well. Mm, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Man, oh, great. sounds like to me, you knocked three of them out the park. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, the channeling strong today, and it's good. You know, a lot of people are. Some people are more receptive than others, and in this atmosphere with people calling in, you know, I think they're receptive to the readings, and it really helps me channel. So that's really good. I'm super happy. Mm. That is great. We're going to go ahead and stop for a few minutes and take a commercial break. Um, We'll be right back. Joseph A. Moylan is the owner of Ion Health, which specializes in very unique medical devices. Ion Health offers biomats, alkalife, and frequency machines. Biomats are a far infrared and negative ion emitting FDA approved medical device. With many different sizes available, you can place them on your bed, on a massage table, or on a seat in your car. It is an unobtrusive way to health. Alkalife machines are water ionizers that cleanse and raise the alkalinity of your tap water, making high alkaline water. Frequency machines utilize certain frequencies to kill viruses and bacteria. These devices are safe and effective. Coming from a health-conscious background and studying physiology at the Academy of Natural Health, Joseph A. Moylan has 15 years of experience in the health field and wants to help you live a healthy, long life. Visit www.ionhealthbiomats.weebly.com or call 765-520-2988. Don't let your health go astray. Get in touch today. Dr. Rob Moyer is the director of the Ocean River Institute, and he is passionate about saving the ocean by helping dolphins suffering from nitrogen pollution. Nitrogen is a dangerous pollutant, affecting our oceans, altering ocean ecosystems, and contributing to global warming. The Ocean River Institute provides opportunities to make a difference and encourages people to go the distance for savvy stewardship of a greater and bluer planet Earth. Partnered with organizations from Massachusetts to Florida, Alaska to the Caribbean, the Ocean River Institute's mission is to foster involvement in conservation and environmental monitoring by facilitating grassroots efforts at local and regional levels. Hello, I'm Rob Moyer of the Ocean River Institute. Please visit our website at oceanriver.org. Sign up for free e-alerts. You may call us at 617-661-6647. Our email address is info at Ocean River. Become informed and then act with us. Thank you. Hello. Welcome back to Healing at Soul Level. I'm your host, Shauna Williams, and we're broadcasting live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. We've been talking with Valerie McKenzie about numerology, and she has been hitting it out of the park. She has been... Um, reading. She read me, she read two callers, and she's just gave us a wealth of information on numerology. But that's not the only thing she does. So she's going to give us some more information about other things that she practices. Okay, Thank Valerie. you, Shauna. Yeah. Um, so like I said, these things all tie into so many different modalities for, you know, seeking answers and kind of looking for some guidance. And um, I know in my life, Um, Something that's really brought me a lot of joy and a lot of insight is crystals. Um, You mentioned I'm a crystal child, and um, without going into too Mm -hmm. much detail, it's somebody that's born between certain dates, and they really have affinity for crystals like amethyst and rose quartz and tiger's eye, and the list goes on. And um, I've been a collector of these items. You know, even when I was a small child, you know, I would pick these things up or I would find them places and those were things I wanted to buy. And I didn't really understand back then why I was so drawn to them. But for me, crystals um, bring me a lot of strength. They bring a lot of courage. Um, They can be really good for um, kind of clearing your energies or bringing certain energies into your auric field and kind of helping you. Um, with guidance and things like that. So um, Mm -hmm. I've been a collector of those. I'm a strong believer in their abilities. They've been around, I mean, as long as the earth's been here, and they're very, very powerful. And I think that collecting of those things um, has really helped me channel some of my gifts and my ancient abilities that I've just 
you know, been recollecting over the years. And um, crystals are a very powerful tool, I feel, as well. A lot of times when I'm channeling, I'll get certain ones out. Um, I also have a pendulum, a uh, tiger's eye pendulum that I scry with and I balance chakras with. And um, it's so amazing to think that all of these things have been here this whole time, you know, and not everybody <laughs> knows about them. So it's really good, you know, and these yeah. types of forums yeah. to be able to introduce them to people that maybe don't know um, a lot about them. And if you're drawn to like certain stones, really pay attention to that because there's messages there and there's, you know, you need whatever that stone has to offer for whatever reason. Um, I know for me, I'm currently wearing a, a lightning strike crystal quartz around my neck that kind of helps me with my channeling and helps keep me grounded because I'm a, I'm a floaty person and also a Moldavite. So it's very neat. Okay. Well, um, I'd like to know how does anybody get in contact with you if they'd want to um, have a my, or something? Sure. Um, My Facebook is just my name, Valerie McKenzie, just like it's spelled. Um, There's a double image of my face in case you're looking for it. And if you're looking for me on Instagram, I'm definitely more Instagram friendly. Um, It's at Cal Kenzie and it's C-A-L-K-E-N-Z-I-E. If anybody would like a reading or would like to inquire more, I'd be happy to help. And Shauna, again, thank you so much for the opportunity. I'm most grateful. Well, thank you for sharing your knowledge on numerology. I'm so glad you've been on the show. Thank you. I'd like for y'all to tune in next week because my guest is going to be Angelica McCauley, and she's going to be doing oracle readings. Uh, It's going to be a great show. For more information on this episode or to book Reiki services and Akashic Record readings with me, visit my website at indigo-qi.com. If you have a healing modality that you'd like to share and want to be a guest on my show, email me at shauna at indigo-qi.com. You've been listening to Healing at Soul Level, and I'm your host, Shauna Williams. Thank you for tuning in. Love and light. This has been Healing at Soul Level with host Shauna Williams. Listen each week as Shauna will help you discover the different healing modalities and how to use them in your everyday life right here on Shauna Williams Healing at Soul Level. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.